Okay, this is going to be a quick video tutorial that just introduces how to use subtools in ZBrush, and this is a great way to bring in multiple objects and sculpt on them at the same time using ZBrush. And so when sculpting like a character head, for instance, it's my strong recommendation that you have um, a base mesh for your character's head and then have a separate OBJ for the eyes. And so something I did ahead, 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 ahead of time to prepare for this lesson is I exported out of Maya an OBJ for the head of my character and then a, a OBJ for the eyes. And so let's show how we can bring those in. So up here in the, the tool menu, we can save our ZBrush projects as ZTL files or Z tools. So I can load previous Z tools, save them, um, all that stuff right up here. And so that's a great way once you've started working in ZBrush and you want to be able to kind of save it and then open it again a couple days later and have all your ZBrush settings in place, you use these options up here. But if I want to import OBJs from Maya or a program like Blender, then I'm going to use this, these import and export buttons right here. So first of all, I'm just going to click on import. It's just going to take one second. And I'm going to bring in the character's head first. And so you can see it shows up at the bottom down there. So that's just the base mesh for the head. And so you might remember there's a few things that we have to do to kind of bring this character head into place. So I first need to click and drag onto my canvas, but I need to hold shift to snap it to 90 degrees and then I'll let go. And then next that is really important that I press this edit button or press T. And then finally, to kind of get this thing fully loaded, I'm just going to make it a polymesh 3D by going under the tool menu and clicking on this Make Polymesh 3D button. Okay? And so next, I'm going to also import the eyes. So I'm just going to go to Import. And it's just going to take one minute to load. I have the eyes right there. And I'll open those. And edit's already clicked. And so I just need to make these a polymesh 3D. Okay? So the same button right there. And so now I'm going to open this uh, subtool menu right here. And you can see if I click between the head and the eyes, it switches back and forth. So I have my head to ZBrush, and, you, um, and I clicked on that. Also, you might notice if I click on this tool button, it expands this tool menu out. And you can see that there's like these basic sphere, cylinder, cube objects that we can have. But you can see there's the character head that I imported, and then there are the eyes. So I can kind of locate them either in, in this top button right here, or I can find them down here. And so this is the, um, these are the eyes that we're gonna eventually want to load. So anyway, I click on the head, and that loaded it under subtools. The way that subtools works is it's almost like Photoshop layers where um, we're gonna bring in different objects as layers. And you can use these buttons down here to rename them. We can duplicate them, we can, insert new ones, we can delete. So that's kind of what all these buttons are. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna append the eyes so that they show up down here. So I'm just gonna look for the append button, click on that, and then find the eyes poly mesh right there. And you can see it loads in as a separate layer. And which layer that I end up sculpting on is gonna be determined by which one's kind of highlighted this gray tone right here. So if I click on that, you can see the eyes change color over here, and that's highlighted under the subtools. And so if I were to sculpt, it would go into the eyes. And if I click right there, it'll work on the, on the head model. And from here, I can just start sculpting, right? So under the head, I, can, I need to turn on perspective. I can see I need to add more geometry. So I'll go under the geometry tab and divide this up a few times. And I can... I need to add symmetry, so I can press X to add symmetry to my model, or you can go to transform and activate symmetry right there. And essentially now we're ready to start sculpting. And again, one reason why I think it's important to bring the eyes in as separate objects is when it's time to sculpt these eyebrows, or sorry, these eyelids, you know, I'm gonna use a combination of, I like to use the clay tubes brush, but you can use like the clay tubes and the move brush and I just pressed M uh, to get to the to the um, the tools that are start with the letter M, and then find the move brush right there. And this can be really helpful to have those models in place so that when you're kind of sculpting this area, you have good reference. And 
if people don't kind of bring in the the objects for the eyes, a lot of times I notice that the eyes come in just not looking very around, right? So that's why I highly recommend bringing in multiple objects for your characters. 